Right, hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, Fallout 3. I've made it to Megaton. Got a, got a couple of missions lined up, or quests, or whatever it calls them. I just talked to um, Moira, Moira Brown. Sold her some stuff, bought some stuff from her. Let me talk to well, Billy Creel. Someone hot new. Damn. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy. Well, I don't right? care. I'm kidding. I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who's Maggie? Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Mm -hmm. Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care for. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Well, I guess that pretty much does make her your daughter, then. All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Oh, well, thanks. That's very helpful. Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything oh, yeah. you need to make a life these days. Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. And I'm not worried. No reason it picked now to go down for good, would it? Well, maybe. I mean, you know things. Later, Gator. They don't pick a time to break. They they just break. They stop working. I think I'll sit. Oh yeah, nice. Been nice. I think I'll do it. I think I'll stay in three thir uh, th three per th uh, th third person. Alright, well, I guess I'll be moseying on along. The camera is a little iffy in third person. It's so dark in some places. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Hey, Andy. Oh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Well, okay. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, don't like Andy. Who are you? Hi, it's Maggie. I'm Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Do you know him? Yeah, I do. I just met him. Anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Okay, that was weird. Who takes care of you? Why would I ask that? Bye, mister. Well, bye, little girl. Supplies. What is this? What does that say? Oh. Restroom. I didn't do anything. Oh, does that help me out? Does it give me stuff?
HP four. I got one ninety eight right now. Now I have to. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Activated a couple more times. Oh, now I have 18 reds per second or whatever. Okay, I got a plunger. Nice. I got another plunger. Oh, the sink. It's real good. I think it's a lot of HP. I don't know how. It does. So I need to make sure to pick up anything that I can find. Anything that I can find that I can take with me, I need to. Because I can carry equipment. <clears throat> and I can sell it all. Okay, right stick, apply torque with screwdriver. Left stick, rotate the bobby pin, X force lock. When torque is applied, the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position or sweet spot, the more the lock will rotate before the bobby pin breaks. Only when the bobby pin is in the correct position will the lock rotate fully and open. You can also try to open a lock by forcing it, but if you fail, the lock will be permanently broken and can only be opened with a key. Okay, so I don't want to try to force it. Okay, I'm moving the sticks, but nothing's happening. Okay, it's very easy. Oh, I don't have any lock picks. Well, that, that would explain it. Moira. So, how's the scavenging been? Got the food and medicine from that super duper mart? Uh, no. Oh, well, could you get on that? Thanks. Wow, I don't like you either. What do you need? I need a lockpick. Oh, wait, I don't have any money. But I got a couple of things. Oh, you don't even sell. Well, fuck. Good luck with that research. <clears throat> okay. Bitch. Huh. Hacking. Some terminals, terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skills is high enough. You can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If you guess incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna hack it. Okay, I have four attempts. What? Oh, I... I, I did it? Store inventory. Do Brahmin heads learn independently? Okay, so I can come back to that as I progress. Where, where'd she go? <coughs> what? Moira? What's going on? Huh. 
Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? <laughs> oh, what's up? Uh, never mind. See ya. Okay, bye. Have I been up here? This is the first place I went. I think I've been up here. What's Sheriff Clinic? Hello. Oh, I guess I can go ahead and go to the saloon. Maybe. I can get past the sign. Is this the saloon? Where's this? Water processing plant. <coughs> Hello, water, water fountain. Oh, that one's very hard. Oh, I've lost karma. Yes. Oh, what? Yes. Oh, oh, hey. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Yep. That's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. Well, good for you. That's no all problem, I need to know. Buddy. <clears throat> Anytime. Okay, bye. Well, that was fun. That was night time. What's up, Walter? Uh, I bet you know a lot. What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly. How's that for a piece of information? Not too helpful. I take care of the water purification plant. That old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. All right. Well, I'll yeah, see you around. Sure. Maybe. I should die before I get back around. Okay, so is this the saloon? Oh, oh. Oh, I guess everything is closed because it's nighttime. Well, great. Sorry, can't talk now. Oh, well, okay. At least the saloon should be open. Is this the same bathroom? <clears throat> ah, here we go. You making a move? Uh, huh? Come on, no. What's happening? Watch it. We'll get it. The same damn thing. Jericho. I told you, God, it's uh, Jericho? The Enclave Station comes. Jericho! Oh, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Who cares? Uh, not really. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. Why do you not like me? There ain't much to tell. The 
used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then, but I'd put all that behind me. What? Back out where? Out there in the wastes. Duh, that's what we were just talking about. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. So you don't like me because you think that I'm from there, but you're from there? It's pretty fucked up, man. I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. No offense, kid, but you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. Now I've heard about you. A little goody two-shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Oh, so you know I'm out of the ball. so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. Since in ruin. None of your fucking business. What does this mean? God damn right, never mind. <laughs> okay. Come back if you need something. Yeah, I'll try not to. Who are you? Yeah, you're just a settler. Okay. Hey, Nova. Uh, oh, yeah, you probably came in here. I saw him talking to Moriarty. What's that guy doing over there with the sand? The guy behind the bar there, a real person? Oh, you like it rough, huh? Well, mm -hmm. that's next. Beat it, kid. Go look for daddy somewhere else. But I heard that he was here. Why would I look somewhere else if I heard he was here? Or at least before I make sure that he's not here. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. <clears throat> Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I well, that's me. I certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. Oh, well, maybe. Wait, you're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. Oh, the really? The detonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. Oh. All it needs is a I see what you're innovation. talking about. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated <coughs> by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Well, it sounds like it would be quite a bit of money, but... Why would you even want to do that? You're out of your mind. Now that is a disappointment. Well, I don't give well, a fuck. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. All okay. right. A traveler, eh? Yep, that's me. I don't recognize you. New in Cuz I haven't been here before. You haven't seen me before. Huh? I hope by something to do, you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. 
Interested? Yeah, I can do that. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Hmm, that sounds maybe bad. Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. I thought you were the West family. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. All right, well. Okay. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. I want no problem. Good to see you. I know. Actually, I'll talk to you. I'm in the mood to drink, not to talk. Well, never mind. I take it back. I didn't want to talk to you anyway. For a drink. You've come to the right place. What? Who the fuck said that? Bless you. Got a problem? No. Maybe I don't know. Don't even think. Who keeps talking to me? Looking spree. That will cost you. Well, what happened? Where am I? Okay. Can't say that there's much going on. What was that? Iguana. Iguana bits. All right, well. Good to see you. Looking for a drink. You've come to the right place. Looking spree. That will cost you. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Uh. <laughs> God, fuck. What are you? You're not gonna hit me, <clears throat> yell at me, not even berate me a little bit. Um, not unless you want me to. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Um... What are these percentage things? Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me. Every time I try one that shows a percentage, it's doing? failed. Good evening. Can I try it again? Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately, and I need a friendly face. Well, I didn't know uh, so much had happened since the last time we spoke. I can't talk about that anymore. <clears throat> Moriarty will beat me again if I do. Well, I get ah, fuck. Well, Don't hit me. damn it. Oh well.
Okay, so what? What's the next stop we have? Oh, how do I keep running into you? Well, I can't. Oh, that's his house. Want to invite me in? Never mind. That's fine. Just, I'll just be on my way. What? Well, hey there, stranger. I'm hey. Nanya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Long ago, before the war, there used to be machines. They were like buses. But they flew through the sky, taking people anywhere they wanted to go. You didn't have to walk. You just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the skies. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. When the war happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater provided good cover from the dust storms. And when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. Some of us wanted to, but the Church of Adam was just getting its start then. We needed their help to build the walls and clear the wreckage. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. Besides, a lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines, and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland just took it back. Wait, so you just described back in the day this place is housing a large airport apparently <clears throat> would you just call them machines they were like buses but they flew in the sky but then you just called them planes it's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing the scrap was there why not use it besides it's sturdy it keeps the raiders and the dust storms out not all of us had the luck to be born in a vault, you know. Sure thing, hon. Well, you come on back any time you want to hear more. Okay, will do. It's been nice. Yeah, I reckon. Ooh, another bathroom. Or is this the same one? No, this is a women's room. Sorry. Oh, cool. So it keeps that. So once I get my HP all the way up by doing this. And every time I do it, it gives me the bon the rads bonus. Which I don't know. Uh, how much that helps. So my rads is 143? Is that correct? <coughs> Am I drinking from the toilet? That's weird. So do I have more now? Yeah, now I'm at 197. All right. Oh, and now I have radiation poisoning. Oh, so that's bad. Okay. Whoopsie! And now I'm now I have radiation poisoning. Well, fuck. I guess I need to go see the doctor. 
Which way is it? Doc, Doc, I'm in real bad. I'm in real bad state. Oh, I have to have a key. Uh, I don't even see it. There's a restaurant. What's this? Oh, the clinic. Good. That's exactly what I was looking for. Help me, Doc. Injured? I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, <coughs> don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Sure can. A hundred caps? Oh my god. If that's the way you want it, it's all the same to me. Try to be careful. All right. So when I activate a toilet or sink, then I get health points, but I also get radiation poisoning. Or radiation doses. I was going over here to get some food. Come on into the brass lantern. Best food in town. Well, I'm already in. Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down. Maybe I really don't know. You don't look like the type. Anyway. Sorry, hon. The noodle stand is closed. If you want something, ask Leo in the restaurant. Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Come back if you need something. Okay. Well, I need food. I came here for food, but you won't give me anything. Stupid bitch. That's not a door. <laughs> Whoops. This one's locked, but it's very easy. I lost karma. No, I didn't mean to. I didn't know it was a bad one. Well, it was red. I didn't pay attention. I guess I'll probably... I'll just have to lose karma from time to time anyway. I don't know what good this is going to do me. Is Butch it? Is that the... Nope. Okay. One of five was correct. Well, which one? <clears throat> one of five. Oh, that one's that one worked. Okay. Okay, so I see how it is. The words are the choices. Uh, welcome to the Brass Lantern Computer System, Mr. Stall. What would you like to do today? Well, let's look at some notes on Leo. I hate to even think that Leo is stealing from us, but he can't really seem to explain where the money is going. A cap or two is an honest mistake. But we're take, talking over a hundred per month here. I can't really accuse him of stealing, but something is going on. And the oddest thing, Doc Church seems to know something about Leo, but won't tell me. Hmm, interesting. Cash notes. Leo's count. 
traps this time. I'll have to keep an eye on him. He's either careless or a thief. Inventory notes. We're coming up short on a few things again. I can't explain it. We have enough liquor in the still to supply us each month, but yet we keep running short. Note to self. Keep an eye on Leo. Between this and his cash shortages, I'm starting to think that something is going on. Andy. Oh, that's why it's bad. I can unlock the safe. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> 300 bottle camps. Wow. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry I looked in your computer. So where's the the restaurant? I thought it was attached. That's the noodle stand. I guess that's it. Whatever. Okay. Well, moving on then. <clears throat> uh, where should I go? Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and go to the super... I think I've been pretty much everywhere. I've been to a lot of places. Uh, no. I want to travel. Oh, I can zoom in. Wow, it's way over there. I have not discovered that location yet. Oh, okay, so I can use this map to just poof to places. Okay, I see. But before I can poof there, I have to actually walk there. I just travel to spring now. Okay, that works. <coughs> yeah, so I can poof the places using that map, but before I can poof there, I have to actually travel there by foot or any other way that may be available. But I, th I think it'd just be. On Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? No. Colin Moriarty, the owner of Moriarty Saloon in Megaton. That sack of shit is convinced that I'm some crazy junkie who stole money from him. Look, I used to work for that slob, doing, you know, favors for guys well i got uh. sick and tired of it i told moriarty i'm taking my share of the caps and leaving i even slept with a pig to seal the deal next morning he tells me i couldn't leave so i bolted i took my money and ran now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me i guess i need a new hiding place yeah i guess so you're like right outside town i mean like right outside i mean like it's like i'm a one minute jog from here to the to the saloon. I don't think I didn't actually meet Moriarty, did I? No, I don't think I did. <coughs> Just give me some of your caps and I'll tell them you're gone. Do that for me? Yeah. I never expected anyone to care enough. Here you go. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Three hundred. Damn. And I had the option of doing that for free. I'm glad I didn't do that. On, Jeez. More attention to what you're doing. Still psycho? What? Inspirational quotes. <clears throat> well, that was great. I can go get healed now. And still have 200 left over from that. That was... Man, that was a big score.
Was it night time when I got out here? I've discovered Spring Bell School. All right. Good for me. Ah, oh shit, somebody's hitting me. That's not what I want to do. Duck! Duck! Crouch! How do I do? No. Crouch. There we go. Okay. So someone's shooting at me. I have a gun. But it's just a little pistol. What? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, oh, I see you there. I see you, baby. Ow! Ow! Stop it. Item condition. Your weapon is in poor condition and can do more damage if repaired. Well, thanks for telling me that uh, right after I start needing it. Anywhere I can repair it in my pit boy or by visiting a vendor to repair it yourself, you need to use parts from a similar weapon. Well, that is just fucking great. Hold on. God damn it. Ow. Haha, <laughs> killed you. Oh, okay, another another pistol. Good, good. And some more ammo. Seven bottle caps. Some armor. And a helmet. Sweet. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So let me do something about this. I didn't really get hurt that badly. Now use one of those. Uh, yeah, and put that on. I'll fit right in. That's a helmet. Oh yeah, those two. <gasps> what? Oh okay. Well, that armor doesn't do anything. That one does a lot. <coughs> well, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Haha. <laughs> Whoa. Dang. Alright, so there might be some crazy shit in there. So before I get too far into this and get stuck somewhere that I'm gonna this is gonna take me a long time to fight out right over something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here and I'll pick up and the next part right here, and I'll go into the uh, Spring Bell Elementary School and carry on from there, making my way to. There are enemies down there. I better pause it before I get in trouble. Um, I'll make continue making my way to. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, whatever and stuff. Make my way to the Super Duper Mart. Okay, so yeah, so we'll do that next time. Until then, bye-bye.